she needs the food and travel. Hi everyone, welcome to another Chinita food and travel episode. Today, it's all about sopes. So sopes are a traditional street food that is so popular among locals, but this one has a really indulgent twist. It has three meats and quesillo as the topping. So let's check them out. This stall is always packed out because the food is so delicious. Now before we dive into the sopes, let's check out the other food items that they sell. This is a taco campechano with beef, longaniza, quesillo, onions, fried potatoes and rajas. Oh my god. And you get a free glass of bonche. <laughs> this is a gordita. It's filled with picadillo. Check out the size of these garnachas. <laughs> Look at all that cheese that goes on the quesadilla. That's massive. That's so much cheese. Sope with steak. And now Houdith is going to prepare the sope especial. The corn dough is pressed, creating a thick tortilla and placed on the griddle so the bottom becomes crispy. Sopes are characterized by their pinched edges, creating a shallow well for all of the toppings to go on. The classic sope is topped with refried beans, lettuce, sour cream, and grated cheese. And now for the sope special toppings. Steak, spicy pork sausage, chicken schnitzel, and quesillo, melted Oaxaca cheese. It's massive. Look at that. It's just massive. Look at that. So these sopes are legendary in the suburb that I live in. Okay, I'm going to slice into it because it's huge. I mean, you would eat this with your hands, actually. Mmm. <laughs> really delicious. Look, I'm going to show you guys again just how big it is. And I have things that have fallen off my plate. I mean, look. Just look at that. It's massive. I asked for an extra crispy bottom. Mm. Mm. Everything is really good. You can taste like the really good quality meats and the cheese. The salsa verde. It's just over the top because it's one of my favorites. It's the raw salsa verde. The question of the night is, am I going to be able to finish it? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they came up with the concept of these three toppings, but it really works. You've got the spiciness from this um, from the longaniza, the beef steak, the casillo, the chicken schnitzel. I just got the perfect bite. A bit of everything. So good. Chucho has been working here for a while. He's 12 years old and he's like pilas. In Mexico we say pilas, you know, when somebody has a lot of initiative. He's a good kid. I'm still eating my sofe. It got a little bit messy, but I'm going to show you guys. And I'm already full. Guess how much this sope costs? Take a moment, guys. Think about it. Ballpark figure. 60 pesos. It's not even $3. 60 pesos. I love Mexico, man. I'm still here trying to finish it. <laughs> I've got about a third to go. I'm so full, man. I tell you guys, I would not be a good contestant in food competitions. These street food stalls are part of the livelihood of a neighborhood. Families come and have dinner with the kids, many generations of families. So it's really cool to see the bustling energy that these stalls have and the importance that they have in each neighborhood. Guys, I know I've done a lot of episodes on street food here in Mexico, but I just had to share this sop especial with you guys because it was huge. I did finish it, but I'm completely stuffed and um, it was really tasty and all the food that they've that they prepare here, it's really delicious. Their quesadillas are very thin, almost like a crepe thinness and you can have them deep fried or on the griddle just everything is really tasty so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram till next time chinita food and travel <laughs> <laughs>